Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, just click the like, the share, and the subscribe button para ma-notify kayo guys sa mga future videos natin just like this video. So in this video guys, ang pag-uusapan natin is about the derivative of exponential functions. For example guys, we have here an equation y equals a raised to u, okay? Where u is a function of x. So u is expressed in terms of x. So in general, lalagay natin siya as a variable u. a here guys is a constant. A is a constant that is not equal to zero. So we're going to derive the formulas uh, involving the derivative of an exponential function. Okay, we take the ln of both sides. We take the natural logarithm of both sides. We have ln y equals, you have here ln a raised to u. Okay, and using the loss of logarithm, we can say that ln y equals, we have here u ln a. So we can bring this down here and it becomes a, co a coefficient. Okay, then we can actually uh, derive this, okay, I differentiate natin both sides, derivative of ln y equals, we have here derivative of u ln a, okay. So yung ln a natin guys, since a is a constant, ln a is a constant also. So we can just uh, put this outside, so this becomes ln a derivative of u. Now here, this is just... Okay, using the formula that derivative of ln u is equal to uh, derivative of u over u. Okay, so ito, basically since na y siya, this becomes derivative of y all over y. Okay, so this is just equal to ln a derivative of u. Therefore, we can say that derivative of y is equal to y ln a derivative of u and since from the original equation okay from the original equation y is equal to a raised to u so we can just change this okay y here okay y is a raised to u therefore the derivative of a raised to u where u is a function of x is equal to you have here a raised to u y is a raised to u here ln a derivative of u and since u is a function of x is a function of x therefore these are all differentiated with respect to x okay so this is the formula for finding the derivative of an exponential function so we have a special case okay if a if a is equal to e okay euler's number so this is approximately 2.718 okay irrational siya now if a is e we can just change this okay change lang natin siya into e here lahat ng a so derivative of e raised to u with respect to x is equal to e raised to u ln e okay derivative of u with respect to x but we all know that ln e is just equal to 1 because a logarithm is a uh, exponent. So, ang ln e kasi guys, we can actually uh, interpret this as the logarithm of e to the base e. So, that is just equal to 1. What is the exponent of e to make it an e here? That is 1. So, logarithm is an exponent. So, we can just cancel this out. This becomes 1 here. ln e is equal to 1. So, the derivative... So the derivative of e raised to u with respect to x is just equal to e raised to u derivative of u with respect to x. We have here two formulas involving the derivative of an exponential function. Okay, special case tayo guys if a is equal to the Euler's number. So we are going to use this two formulas here. So in this first problem guys, we have y is equal to e raised to 3x. Okay, derivative of y with respect to x ang hinahanap natin dito. So, find y prime. Okay, so derivative of y. So, derivative ng e raised to 3x with respect to x is just equal to. So, yung formula natin guys is that derivative of e raised to u with respect to x is just equal to e raised to u derivative of u with respect to x. 
Okay, so in this problem, okay, u is yung exponent natin. That is a function of x, so 3x. Therefore, du equals 3 dx. And therefore, derivative of u with respect to x is just equal to 3. And we just substitute this to our formula. So this is e raised to u. Ang u natin is 3x. Then du over dx is 3. Okay, so therefore, derivative of y, y lang tong e raised to 3x, derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 3e raised to 3x. So this is the final answer for this first problem. Go to this next problem. We have here y is equal to e raised to x squared. So we are going to find what is y prime. We have derivative of e raised to x squared with respect to x equals. Okay, so yung u natin here, uh, from the formula, derivative of e raised to u with respect to x equals e raised to u, du over dx. Okay, yung u natin dito is just equal to x squared. So therefore, du, power formula natin to guys, bring down the exponent, subtract 1 to the exponent. You have here 2x dx, and therefore, du over dx is just equal to 2x and we just substitute this to the formula okay this becomes e raised to x squared then d over dx is 2x here and therefore we can say that dy over dx or y prime is just equal to 2x times e raised to x squared okay this is the final answer for this second problem for this next problem, we have y is equal to x times e raised to negative 2x. Okay guys, gawin natin siyang derivative of a product kasi nakamultiply yung dalawang expression here. So derivative of uv equals, you have here u dv plus v du. All of these are differentiated with respect to x because u and v here is a function of x. Okay. So, identify natin. What is u here? u is x. So therefore, du equals dx. And we have here, v is e raised to negative 2x. Okay, derivative of v equals, so copy this. So, applying the formula for the exponential function. Copy this whole function here, e raised to negative 2x. And find the derivative of the exponent. So that is negative 2 dx. Okay. Now, now we just substitute this. Therefore, derivative of y or the derivative of since y is x x times e raised to negative 2x that is just equal to that is u dv plus v du. u is x dv is e raised to negative 2x times negative 2 dx, then plus v du. Okay, v natin is e raised to negative 2x, then du is just dx. Okay, then you just uh, get the differential with respect to x, so divide both sides by dx. So this becomes dy over dx, okay, yung x e raised to negative 2x is just y. So divide both sides by dx, so this becomes... So, negative 2x uh, times e raised to negative 2x plus e raised to negative 2x. Then, ito guys, yung e raised to negative 2x, pwede natin siyang i-factor out. So, this becomes e raised to negative 2x times, you have here, negative 2x plus 1. Or 1 minus 2x. So, just change this to 1 minus 2 2x factor out natin yung common. So this is the final answer for this problem. So we go down to our next problem guys. So we have here r is equal to e raised to negative theta times cosine 2 theta. Derivative of uv equals u dv plus v du. Okay. So, ito guys, derivative ng 
product siya. Identify natin yung mga variables sa formula. So, u equals e raised to negative theta. Then, we have here v as cosine to theta. Okay, derivative of u equals, so copy this, e raised to negative theta. Then, differentiate the exponent. So, that is negative derivative of theta. Then, derivative of v is equal to, okay ito guys, chain rule natin. So, ang derivative ng, so let's recall the derivative of cosine u is equal to negative sine u, derivative of u. So, u natin here is 2 theta, so we have the formula, so that is negative sine u is 2 theta here. Then, derivative of u is 2, derivative of theta. Okay, we just substitute this to the formula. So, derivative of e raised to negative theta cosine 2 theta applying the derivative of a product we have here u dv ang u natin is e raised to negative theta then dv is negative sine 2 theta times 2 derivative of theta then we have here plus v du Okay, ang v natin is cosine 2 theta, then yung du natin is e raised to negative theta times negative derivative of theta. And you just simplify this. Okay, divide both sides by derivative of theta to get the derivative with respect to theta. Okay, so ito guys, this is just r here. So derivative of r, so divide both sides by d theta. So this is d theta here. Then this becomes, so negative 2, so e raised to negative theta sine 2 theta so ito guys negative so minus na siya dito so minus e raised to negative theta times cosine 2 theta so notice here that ito e raised to negative theta is a common okay so just uh, put this outside then factor out natin so e raised to negative theta times we have here negative 2 sine 2 theta minus cosine 2 theta. Or we can also factor the negative 1 here. So this becomes negative here and this all becomes positive. Okay, factor out natin yung negative. So this is positive here. So this is the final answer for this problem. So this is R prime. Let's proceed to our next problem. Our next problem tayo guys, we have here we have find y prime. Again, what is y prime of this function? Okay, ito guys, can use the formula from the previous video. That is the derivative of logarithmic functions. This is natural logarithm. So we have derivative of ln u is just equal to du over u. Okay, kung with respect to x lahat, with respect to x, this is with respect to x. So this becomes u prime over u from our last discussion. Okay, so we have here derivative of ln, so 5 minus e raised to 4x. Okay, so this is just equal to u prime over u. So yung u natin dito is 5 minus e raised to 4x. Okay, derivative of u is equal to, so ito guys, 0. So minus, copy natin to. So e raised to 4x, then differentiate the exponent. Kasi ito, exponential function siya. So, the derivative of the exponent, 4x, is 4 dx. Okay, so therefore, d over dx is negative 4 times e raised to 4x. Okay, apply natin yung formula. So, derivative of u is e raised to 4x times 4 dx. Okay, so this is all over u, which is 5 minus e raised to 4x. And we just simplify this. Okay, getting the derivative with respect to x. So, this becomes derivative of y. Okay, yung ln5 minus e raised to 4x is just y. So, dy over dx or y prime is just equal to, you have your negative 4 times e raised to 4x divided by 5 minus e raised to 4x. So that is the final answer for this problem. 
Okay, for this next problem guys, we have y is equal to 5 raised to 3x squared. Okay, gamitin natin yung general formula for an exponential function. So, the derivative of a raised to u, okay, with respect to x na yan guys, because this is a function of x, equals, you have here a raised to u, l and a, derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, identify natin dito the exponent u here, which is a function of x, u is 3x squared. Hanapin natin yung du over dx. Okay, derivative of u equals, so 3, derivative ng x squared, that is 2x dx. Okay, kung with respect to x, du over dx is just equal to, so 2 times 3, 6, so this is 6x. Now we just perform the formula. So this becomes derivative of 5 raised to 3x squared. With respect to x is equal to, so we have here a raised to u. a natin is 5. Okay, a is 5 from this problem. So this is 5 raised to u. u is 3x squared. Okay, ln 5 derivative of u with respect to x which is 6 x. So this is derivative of y with respect to x or y prime that is just equal to ln 5. We have here 5 raised to 3x squared times 6x. So this is the final answer for this last problem. So that's how you use the formulas in finding the derivative of an exponential functions. I hope that you have learned from this video guys. So if you're new to this channel guys, just click the subscribe button. You can also share this to your friends and classmates if this is your topic in differential calculus or if you want some extra knowledge in differential calculus, you can share this with them. Thank you once again for supporting this channel and of course guys, you can also follow me on Facebook that is facebook.com engineer prof ph thank you guys stay safe and god bless you all